This is a this is balls to the wall, absolutely mental. A family sedan just did 322 kilometers an hour. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm kind of glad I wasn't in that thing when it was doing that speed. But wow, kudos to the steel balls of the person driving that. Because, yeah, it's not factory legal and, well, it's insane. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel on the Electric Viking. And don't get me wrong, I am pretty stoked to see this. I mean, this is, this is crazy. And I love this because it's like saying, you know what, you petrol heads, time to move on with the times. There's no family sedan on the planet right now that'll do 322 kilometers an hour. But now, an electric one will. Well, here we are. A Tesla Model S Plaid has just been hacked to remove software limitations and it's reached a top speed of well over 200 miles an hour. Well, a bit over for the very first time. This does deliver on Tesla's promise that it would do this speed, but I mean, it wasn't actually technically Tesla that removed the speed limiter. Now, when Tesla first announced the Model S Plaid was coming to market, it said it would have a speed of 200 miles an hour or 322 kilometers to be exact. When it was first delivered though, it featured a speed, a top speed of 163 miles an hour or 262 kilometers an hour. Now I think if I own one, I'd probably give 262 kilometers an hour a shot. The fastest I think I've been in a car is about 220. And it doesn't feel that quick, strangely enough, when you're in a car. I mean, on a motorbike, it's a different story. But in a car, it doesn't. 262, I don't know, maybe, yeah, but 322, that's just um, crazy. When you blow out a tire at that speed, you're probably gone. Earlier this year, Tesla released a new track mode for the Model S, and that pushed top speed to 170 mile, 175 miles per hour, or 282 kilometers an hour. Now, clearly that's not fast enough for some people, right? As far as we know, said the electric, this is the fastest top speed a Tesla model has plaid or any Tesla vehicle has achieved to date. Now, what I'm intrigued by is if these guys, right, can just remove the speed limiter and get it to go this speed, get it to do 322, what's stopping Tesla from doing the same thing? I wonder if it's concerned about negative publicity from crashes or something like that because the i mean these motors have so much power tested on a dyno at you know 1000 nearly 1200 horsepower on a dyno at the wheels that's just ludicrous amounts of power so i wouldn't have thought it would be a power issue now maybe it is just that they think well if people are trying to do 322 you know, there's a higher chance of them crashing. The news media loves to beat it up that Tesla cars are dangerous and all that kind of stuff. I don't know. What do you think? Let me know what you think. Now, one thing people have speculated on is it could be brakes. Tesla now offers a ceramic, a carbon ceramic brake kit for twenty thousand US dollars. The other thing is it could be concerned about having the three motors. Um, and the battery pack, maybe has some potential issue with those. I, I wouldn't have thought so, but possible. What's now clear is that Tesla wasn't lying about the vehicle being capable of doing 200 miles an hour because Fred Lambert from Electric says that he witnessed a Model S Plaid achieving just that this morning but it wasn't thanks to Tesla. Inga Next, a Quebec-based company better known for selling modules that help unlock software locked features in Tesla vehicles. That's an idea, isn't it? You wanna get the extra power? Get these guys to unlock it. Seems a bit dodgy, but they do it. He's managed 
to get around the software limitations on the Model S Plaid to completely unlock this ludicrous, don't mind the pun there, top speed. This morning, Guillaume Andre, CEO of the company, got behind the wheel of his hacked Model S Plaid and he tried to break the top speed record at, at the Troy Riviere Airport at Quebec, Canada. Now the Ingenex team has tried to reach 200 miles an hour with the vehicle before at other locations, but they ran out of space to safely reach that speed. The Troy Riviere Airport has a three kilometer long runway that was perfect for the test. They briefly shut down the runway for Andre to make the attempt. Now, to be fair, three kilometers is not very fast when you're going 300 kilometers an hour. You think about it, I mean, you're gonna go a long way. By the time they get up to that speed of 300 kilometers an hour, you're gonna go a long way in like 10 seconds, right? It's pretty crazy. Ingenex Model S Plaid is a stock production vehicle except for bigger brakes from mountain pass performance and high performance tires, Michelin Pilot Sport, Michelin Pilot Super Sport, mainly for safety reasons. The only other modification is the Ingenex module, which allows them to bypass Tesla software on the restrictions on the top speed. Andre had about 1.2 miles or two kilometers in his Tesla Model S Plaid to reach top speed for starting to decelerate about, for starting to, Andre had about 1.2 miles, which is two kilometers in his Tesla Model S Plaid to reach the top speed for starting to decelerate over about 6,000 feet. It turned out that he needed almost that entire distance, even with the high performance brakes, but the attempt was successful. Not only did they manage to achieve a top speed of an insane 200 miles an hour, 322 kilometers an hour, delivering on Tesla's promise for the Model S Plaid, but the electric vehicle achieved a top speed of 216 miles an hour, 348 kilometers an hour. <laughs> You're not, I'm not, this is mental. 348 kilometers an hour in a sedan that's basically stock. They just took the, the speed limiter off it. 348. This is insane. I mean, I don't, I don't know what to say about this. It's just absolutely ludicrous. Now, the sound was the craziest thing, said Fred. He said it sounded like a jet was taking off right in front of him. But no, it was just a family sedan going 216 miles an hour. He said that's the loudest he's ever heard Tesla's cooling system trying to cool down the three motors and the battery pack. It's the first time a Tesla vehicle has achieved a top speed of 216 miles an hour. And I'm wondering if it's the first time any sedan, any stock sedan in history has ever achieved a top speed. In fact, I looked this up and it is. I can't find any other stock sedan that's done 350 kilometers an hour. Now the thing is, right, yeah, sure, you know, Bugattis have done 440 or whatever it is, but that's an entirely different scenario. That's a 7 million US dollar supercar, which is designed to be aerodynamic. It's two seats. This thing's five seats and a big, a big boot, and it's got a frunk. It's got a frunk as well, I forget that. Now for now, that's the only model that's played with the capacity unlocked but Ingenex is going to offer this feature to the public with this capacity locked and other features. So, you know, if you're a mental lunatic and you want to go 350 kilometers an hour in your Model S Plaid, then go ahead. I mean, if you're going to entertain the rest of us, why not? It's fun, right? Now, obviously, this completely voids your warranty. So the dude who did this to his car, he has no warranty on his Model S Plaid anymore. But I'm actually, I'm 100% certain he's going to make that money back within probably a week. Imagine the marketing for this video, right? This was a genius marketing move. I mean, if he had a crash, well, he, you know, he would have maybe been dead and then it wouldn't have been so smart of a marketing move, but he didn't. And now this guy, these guys are going to make a heap of money. The marketing from this 
350 kilometers an hour. This is going to be all the, surely all over the media, right? Surely, right? I would say it would be, but who knows? The media does like to only report negative things about Tesla, so maybe not. Maybe maybe the negative the media will just spin this into a negative. Just say, oh, Tesla's cars are so dangerous, they can do 350 kilometers an hour. This is outrageous. Something like that. That's what I can imagine. Anyhow, I'm pretty mind blown. 350 kilometers an hour. This shows just how much power this motor has. Now, the crazy thing is, what speed is this actually capable of? I mean, they only stopped to slow down because they had to, otherwise they were going to crash off the end of the runway. So the real question is here, what speed can the Tesla Model S Plaid do with a long enough runway? That's what I want to know. Let me know what you think about all this, all these shenanigans in the comment section below. Have a great day. Bye-bye.